Now, if there are toroidal chain loops everywhere, of toruses going this way and that way and covering the whole of space and time, um, and energy attracts matter, and matter covers energy, we should be able to see it. And so if you take a wander around your house, I'm going to look at where two walls meet. Because uh, where two walls meet, um, you now have um, toroidal tubes perpendicular to each other. So now you have rotation in the X, Y, and Z rotation. So in your corners, there will be magnetic fields running up the corner of the wall in rings. So if you take a look there, you'll see what looks like cobwebs in <laughs> dark basement corners, let's say, just so you can find some. Um, and if you have a look at them, they're like tiny little tubes. Some have holes, um, but mainly it's strung together, kind of like a shot of the universe, really. Um, this is the energy in the corner of the room attracting matter, and the matter is covering the energy. And so shape appears just like the trees just like the eyes just like the bones on all the other videos that I've been uh, talking about but these are the invisible lines of energy that are in your house and if you take a look at where spiders put their webs which are silvery and shiny they're in the same place as these tubes why to simulate energy and that's why flies end up in them perhaps flies can see electromagnetic energy and then I decided to start playing around with smoke because smoke um, is extremely light and my theory was that if uh, smoke um, enters these tube lines uh, that are rotating everywhere um, these lines are invisible you can't see them, smell them, taste them or touch them it's one of those kind of things they go in every direction but matter will not move unless these forms are here matter literally moves through them as energy. So what you should see from this incense stick that I've uh, lit is that there should be um, opposite rotations like a figure eight rotating. And there it is. And somebody can sit here and explain to me the laws of thermodynamics and all this other kind of garbage that does not give a cause but only the reaction. Um, keep your explanation please because I can perfectly see that I have a figure of eight movement going on here caused by energy rising through toroidal loop chains. What's actually happening is as it goes up, if it goes up in a straight line that means the voltage is correct or average, the same, right up to the point where it starts to twist. This is where there are different voltage levels, the same as if um, you have the magnetic field lines. This is what the smoke is passing through. That is why the funnel widens as it goes out, or sorry, as it goes higher. It is trying to flatten out into the uh, field lines that are running through the air, past your face, everywhere else. And as you can see by sideways movement, the gravity really doesn't have any effect on this. Um, there's not enough electrons in the smoke for the energy acting downwards to push it down. So the smoke will literally rise up until it reaches uh, the voltage levels in the room. Normally this is a big sheet of smoke across the room. And again, you can sit there and tell me all about thermodynamics and heat and all this other kind of stuff. Um, no, it's energy just like water will sit there with silts of differing thicknesses and weights so smoke will sit on the voltage level of the room eventually it will sink down to the ground when there is no energy left in the room or if the voltage changes and now as you can see here this is a massive rolling cloud it's not caused by any tornado it is a toroidal tube field line that I believe has collapsed downwards. This is attached at either end and unfortunately due to a voltage drop across the universe this is going to get worse. In mythology they used to say the sky has fallen. This was after the last voltage drop. The sky came down and we had to bend over. Well here's a perfect example of that. Rotating in a toroidal tube line massive magnetic energy field line outside of the earth what's it doing near the ground 
and as you can see there is no wind that is forming this toroidal chain of energy the same thing happens on Mars it has no atmosphere and yet I'm told that 300 mile tor tornadoes exist there no a toroidal tube of energy is coming out of the ground tornadoes do not require wind but if there is any matter around this toroidal tube will pick it up because energy attracts matter wind does not make a tornado energy rotating in toroidal fashion makes tornadoes as is perfectly observably evident that there is no wind where these people are that wind would have to be running at 400 miles an hour to create that thank you very much i've seen at least one other video that is the same as this on youtube um, so it's starting to become a little bit of a common occurrence because in my 45 years of being here I've never even heard of one of these and so we could sit here and talk about collapsing field lines um, we could talk about frost quakes which are suddenly happening and sit here with voltage drop and core collapse I'll leave you with that my name is Lee and I am an engineer.